In this presentation, what we're going to do is we're going. This is a maths for economics presentation, and it sort of is applications of things like al calculus, things like integration and differentiation uh, for math uh, for an economic setting. So, suppose the demand function for a commodity is given by this expression here: Q equals p over p squared plus 18 all to be cubed. Cubed. Uh, find the elasticity of demand in terms of p. So that's the job. So essentially this is the equation that we have to sort of set up. So we are given Q already, okay, we're given an expression for Q, and what we're going to do, and we're asked to find this expression in terms of P, so what we're going to do here is we have to, uh, well, based on what we're given there already, what we're going to do is evaluate this in terms of Q, okay. So uh, essentially what we're going to do is differentiate that term there. So it essentially boils down to differentiation. So let's do that. Now, so what I'm going to do is I have it set up here. Now, I've wrote this out before just to make sure I don't make any mistakes because there's nothing worse than dropping a sign or anything like that So uh, along the way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the quotient rule. Okay. So all the things like the chain rule, product rule, quotient rule, and so on for uh, calculus, for integration, and different, or for differentiation in this case, come into play here. So I'm going to let uh, the numerator equal p, u, and p squared plus 18 cubed, all to be cubed, that's going to be v. Okay. So I'm going to look at q, f uh, the top part first off, the numerator. And it is, oh, we gone. The numerator is, sorry there. The numerator says uh, u equals, by the way, there was a little bit of a buzz there, but I just fixed it. It's just a, this tablet is a bit uh, sensitive. So u is equal to p, okay, or the numerator. So get the derivative of that. The u is du over dp, but we're just going to write it as essentially du over dp, but just for the sake of brevity we'll just call it du, that is equal to 1, okay? Now, numerator, denominator, so the numerator is done, let's look at the denominator. Okay, so v is equal to p squared plus 18, all to be cubed. So what we're going to do here is employ the chain rule, okay? So what we do here is, first off, we get the derivative of this part here without regard to the cube, so just the inner component there, just get the derivative of that, that is 2p, okay, and then we get the derivative of the rest of it there as if uh, it was just one expression there, so p squared plus 18 cubed, so essentially ax cubed, the uh, derivative of that is 3x squared, and so it's the 3, uh, that term there, squared, okay. So that would uh, worked out to be 6p, if you just multiply it through there, that would be 6p times p squared plus 18 to be squared, okay. And the chain, uh, the product, the quotient rule is as follows, uh, v times du minus u times dv all over v squared. Okay, so uh, du here, I just rewrote re 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 it actually on the page just to make it a little bit uh, all fit in the page. So du is actually 1. Uh, v is p squared plus 18 cubed. Now, uh, u is p, okay, and dv is the derivative of v with respect to p, dp times p squared uh, plus 18 to be squared, okay. And finally, v squared is p squared plus 18 cubed to be squared so you just multiply the 3 by 2 uh, that's to say this this expression here if we were cubing an expression like that it's essentially 8 to the power 6 just very simple power laws like that so that's where that comes from and so uh, what we can do here is actually just cancel out some terms so what I'm going to do is cancel out uh, so we have p squared plus 18 uh, uh, cubed, p squared plus 18 squared, and p squared plus 18 to the power of 6. So we actually can uh, divide uh, out, cancel out p squared plus 18 squared. So that will cancel out to 1. This will cancel out to, sorry, that will cancel out to 1. That will, uh, t the entire expression will cancel out to 1. This will cancel out leaving p squared to the power of 1. And this will uh, cancel out this bottom term that will cancel out to four. Okay.
okay so if you just uh, divide each of those uh, three components by p squared plus 18 to be squared that's what you get so I'll just rewrite it down here uh, so we multiply through by we have a 1 there by the way so we're multiplying 1 by p squared plus 18 so we just get p squared plus 18 so that is what we end up with there and that's as uh, simplified as we're going to get this expression so the so let's just write that there that is equal to p squared plus 18 to, to the power of 4 uh, p squared plus 18 minus 6p squared we'll just write that as 18 minus 5p squared so that is dp or sorry dq over dp okay now so that's a lot of work done already so the price elasticity of demand is minus p over q times that that expression there, there. so I'll just write it again t q over dp okay so that's equal to minus p over q times what was it 18 minus 5 q uh, 5 p squared I'll just rewrite that just to make it a little bit clearer over p squared plus 18 to the power of 4 and essentially what we're, we're nearly there essentially all we have to do really now is to uh, work this through and simplify it as much as we can so what I'm going to do here is uh, what we have to do here is essentially this is all in terms of p except for that part there so what we have is 1 minus p and we learned earlier on that that was p over uh, p squared plus 18 cubed times 18 minus uh, just to write the rest of it there 5p squared all over p squared plus 18 to the power of 4 and um, well well you could see that the p's cancel out there okay and just as a remark I'm going to ignore that minus there but don't forget about it so we have uh, 1 over 1 over this expression here 1 over k that actually would work out to k just in that's just just for any k there the inverse of the inverse is just itself so let's just put that back so we have minus p squared well just put it in the numerator essentially to the power of 3 uh, times 18 minus 5p squared squared all over p squared plus 18 to the power of 4 and essentially you probably can tell now that we're very nearly there the this cancels out with that so essentially the whole thing cancels out to 1 that cancels out to p squared plus 18 to the power of 1 so what we're left with is minus 18 minus 5p squared that's in brackets over p squared plus 18 and just rewrite that as we have uh, 5p squared minus 18 over p squared plus 18. So that is our price elasticity of demand in terms of p. Now there's another question to this which I'll do now. I'll just pause it and write it out. So there we go. The second question is determine the values for p for which the demand is inelastic. So inelastic is demand is inelastic if essentially demand is inelastic if this term here is less than 1 okay that's what we're interested in okay so if this term here is less than 1 let's go back here what does that mean so this is less than 1 okay so the what we can start to say here is that the numerator is less than the denominator that's what we're sort of getting at here so if we were to write that out again uh, let's just write that there that means that uh, 5 uh, p squared minus 18 is less than p squared plus 18 okay 
So what uh, range of expressions does that work out for? So essentially what we have to do here is a little bit of uh, a, a arithmetic here. So what we're going to do here, I just sort of uh, added, let's uh, add 18 to both sides. So that is four, 5 times p squared less than or equal to p squared plus 36. Okay, and let's subtract p squared from both sides. p squared less than or equal to uh, 4p squared uh, less than or equal to 36. Okay, and that means that 4, no, divide both sides by 4, and we have p squared less than or equal to 9. And you can probably tell very quickly that uh, if it, it's inelastic, if p squared is less than or equal to 9. Now, what does that mean? That just ignore, just like uh, ignoring the fact that this is the price and we ca uh, can't have negative prices. Essentially, that means p squared is any value um, between minus three and three. Okay, or p is any value between minus three and three, but price can't be negative. So essentially what we're doing is only only positive values. So essentially what it means is I'm going to update that and state properly any value P is any, this is the correct statement there, less than or equal to P less than uh, 3. Okay, that is the range of values for which demand is in a list, in, in, a, in, a, in inelastic. Okay, and again just that little caveat there, prices cannot be negative, so the other values that make mathematical sense don't make sense in terms of economics. And that is this price elasticity of demand.